times when um in a when a when a rat is is constantly running in your house inajua panya panya ikikimbia sayote sayote tu hivi kwa nyumba yako leni it's like a nuisance so it's it's important for you to look for something quick either you slap it or we can yage na utume itoke nje unajua panya kama ina ina sayote tu mekaa chini na panya inapita you know I hope you understand. Like, I mean, imagine just um, mm, sitting, sitting, so being in your house. Mbojeni, let me sit properly. Unona. Um, un, eh, panya iki kimbia, kimbia hivi sayote. A rat or a fly. Ama inzi. Unajua. Jackly nombewa ni kama inzi. Unajua. And a fly all over the place. Unajua. So when a, when a, when a, uh, inzi ina ruka ruka hivi na huku huku na huko unatafuta hata kitu unachapa nayo hivi unajua and you know uh, uh, a, a fly that is, is it, you know flies they jump from places to places and they pick anything inaokota mpaka mavi inaokota makojo unajua because she has no respect for herself you know she has no respect for herself that's why she can sit with people who have insulted her children people who have insulted her dignity and her womanhood you know she has no respect for herself so let, let me just start by first saying Jacqueline Ombewa Onguru you cannot you have no moral authority you have no moral authority to call me any name okay you don't because Jacqueline Ombewa Onguru right from Facebook okay you had defrauded young girls and promised them that you are taking them to the UK. You even created a WhatsApp group for them. There are some that you took money from and you promised to take them to the UK. You even started doing training online for women, okay? On Facebook. Nini ilikutoka Facebook? Ilikutoka Facebook? Nini ilikutoka Facebook? Jacqueline Ombewa, you are forgetting. Una, 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 you, you, it looks like you have, uh, uh, you know, such a short memory of what you do. First of all, Jacqueline Ombewa, I'll take you back. I will take you back, okay? You didn't even know me when you came to me to help you when you were chased away from your home, your marital home. How could you do You knew me from that story on Buyer Beware on Artist Group. When Susan came out to say that she had lost money, yet I took care of her children. You didn't even know me. You didn't even know that story. Nikitu Liskia. And when the story came out, you, Jacqueline Ombewa, came to my inbox telling me, hey, Aki, I'm so sorry what women are saying. This is so bad. How can women call you names like this and you are a good person? It is you, Jacqueline Ombewa. I have all those screenshots. You know me, I don't deal with hearsay. So after I had been called a thief and a con, why did you come to my house? Unaizaje kukuja kwa nyumba ya muizi kwa nini? Why did you come to my house? Because Mimi, I didn't know you. Siku kujua? Unaizaje kukuja kwa nyumba ya muizi, madam? Because after your story ya Facebook haujui, wawu likuja Facebook groups later, you didn't know anything, you are not part of it. You didn't know anything. How is it that ulikuja kwa nyumba yangu after hizo story? Ulikuja kukana muizi kwa nini? Kama we si muizi? So you cannot be calling me muizi when it suits you. Okay? This same muizi ndiyo ulikuja kwa nyumba yake? This same muizi ndiyo alikufauzi na mtoto wako ukiwa umefukuzwa. And that was after the story was out. So mbona huku ni avoid your time? Why did you not avoid me at that time? My friend, you cannot choose to call me names when it suits you. Okay? 
If I was a thief, I should have been a thief even the time when you came to my house after knowing that story, Asuza. Umesikia? So what you jinga na upumbavu. And now, Twenda, let me tell you something. You, Jacqueline, the reason why I'm calling you a fraud, there are many reasons, but I'll tell you a bit of them. Sijamaliza. Number one, number one, Jacqueline Onguru Ombewa, okay? You're one person that told people categorically in their videos that you came to TikTok because somebody brought you to TikTok akikwambia kuna pesa kwa TikTok. Siniwe ndio ulisema hivyo? Oh, siniwewe? You said that somebody brought you to TikTok. You were brought to TikTok with the notion that there is money on TikTok. That's what you said. And the only reason why you, you came to TikTok is because you knew that TikTok is the place you would defraud people and make sure there is no, no trail. That is why Jacqueline Onguru, you know, you have an organization, quote unquote, that you started in 2015 and you have never, ever, ever written to any donor in the UK. You are in the UK where there are donors, but you have never mobilized for funding in the donors who are in the UK. Why? Because you know these donors are going to hold you unaccountable. There is no way you are living in the United Kingdom where donors are and you come to TikTok on Kenyan TikTok to solicit funds and you think that now you are, you are a good person, you are coming here. The reason why you have come to TikTok to solicit for funds is because you know you are not going to be able to account for them as is needed. Okay? And the first thing you do, ukitaka kujua we ni fraud, nitakuambia vizuri. Number one, uli make sure ulikuja hapa, uka claim uko na organization. Number two, uka make sure vile ulikuja hapa, uka create people around you when you wanna ku protect. You created a team that talks about you and protects you. And you came to TikTok to sell yourself as a rich person because that was the only way people would be attracted to you. Ulikuja hapa ukisema we ni millionaire, uko kwa chama ya one million, uko na ranch, uko na acres of land, yet you live and depend on public benefits. A person who depends on public benefits and a person who owns a home like me, who can be a fraud between me and you? You don't have any money. You don't have any job. You are a person who depends on public benefits, okay? So you are the person who designed yourself and put yourself in a place where you are selling yourself as a very high-end rich person in the UK and made claims of helping people, okay, for, on TikTok so that you could attract these young women and young girls who are desperate around you. And then now they became your flying monkeys to protect you. And another thing that you've been doing that is so dirty, you have no dignity, you have no respect for yourself, okay? You made sure in this game, you have people who talk about you and protect you by making them be in teams. And the next thing you do, you know, give them false promises of taking them to the UK. And then the next thing you do is that you dine, you dine even with the people who have no respect for, for you. What when you have a question? Una kachini, you talk about me being a fraud and you sit with Peter Kiyoi, a self-confessed fraud. A self-confessed fraud. You sit with Peter Kiyoi on a platform. Mtu ambaya likutusi mbaka kila kitu yako, mpaka kuma na matako kila kitu. Hakuna kitu yako akutusi. And you know this is a self-confessed fraud that stole money from a sick person who ended up dying and then you have the moral authority to call me a name yani really would you do that eh Jacqueline Ombewa don't you have some shame and dignity ata kidogo yani you, you, you call me a fraud while you are the, you, you are a walking scandal you are the walking scandal here on TikTok. That is why you started moderators. Can you block anybody responding to Mwiti? Block, remove, delete, and mute. Moderators, remove everyone responding to Mwiti here. Usikose kukutoa. Now block here uyo Mwiti from this live. Aende uko akue flying monkey wale Jacqueline. 
You create flying monkeys to protect your cause to take money from people on TikTok. Because, you know, on TikTok, there is no way you can, you can show accountability. The best you can come and say is that, oh, to me to collect 300,000, to me collect 200,000, but you'll never show the work that you do. You'll never give financial account for what you did with that money. And that is how you steal. And that is the truth. So you cannot and you will never ever have the moral authority to call me a fraud. And let me tell you another thing. Henry Budoy, you stole money with Henry Budoy. Nani mekuambia hapa? Ombewa, you are part of Henry Budoy's con scheme. That is why you are protecting him to the point of even crying. Why would you protect a person that you don't know? Ati mbaka ulikuwa unalia. Ulikuwa unalilia nini? Na haumjui? You same same Jacqueline after what walisha kuambia at Ibudoi ni con you decided to go behind everybody and personalize the project ukasema that is my project Budoi is my project you personalized it even after people had come live and told you that this man is a fraud and there was no documentation to prove that he indeed was going somewhere you still went behind people's backs came and cried and talked about the way he is, he is, he is sad and that, that, that you want to travel to India with him and everything was presented to you. And then on the same story, you chose Peter Kioi to protect you. You made sure you're protected from being asked any questions. You are part of the cartels here on TikTok and you have no moral authority to talk to me about anything to do with theft. You sit and dine with thieves because you are a thief. That's why you are comfortable, Peter Kiyoi. You are comfortable with Muiti because that's what they do. Those are the people you fund to protect you. And then you make your flying monkeys talk big about you. There is no way you, who is on public benefits, can tell me that you are genuinely raising money on TikTok at it to help people. My friend, why to me, Danganya Wajinga? Umesikia? Kio mtu kama mimi? Mimi, mimi you, you can only lie to stupid people. Nanilisha kuambia, you are below me. You are below me. You have no respect for yourself. You have no dignity for yourself. You dine with people who have disrespected you and stripped you. Juzi nesikia ulienda kwa peaches. Mtu mwenye mekutu simbaka watoto wako. Hakaweka mbaka, anaita mbaka majina za watoto wako kwa live yake. Yani hauna aibu. Yani you have no respect for yourself. How do you shimu? Ati wea sasa unataka kuniambia. Ati unataka kuniongelesha about integrity. A human trafficker talking to me about integrity? Really? Come on. Get the fuck. Listen. If you address me, I will address you back. And I'll embarrass you on this TikTok, my friend. Because I've told you, you are a rat. Maali tunasimama wewe ni kama rat. Na nimekuambia, sai wewe ni kama ile rat anatembea tembea tembea hivi, ukika chini na kuona ukikimbia and I just want to slap you and get you out of my way. Umesikia? You are a very very foolish woman who is delusional. Yaani hata akili hauna. Unakaa chini mwanamke mkubwa, unakaa chini na vijana wadogo wadogo ambao wanakutusi wanakukosea heshima hati kwa sababu you are just desperate for money. Unaka chini na watoto wadogo wana kukose shima. Hati because you are desperate for money. You would rather be in the cartels. You sit with someone like Peter Kiyoi on a live. Hati, oh, because I'm a leader on TikTok, I have to highlight this thing. A leader sitting beside a, 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 another a cartel. Mwenye, mwenye, mwenye naibia watu. Hati sasa wende unakuja wende self-proclaimed. Hati, hati cleanest and person with integrity. My friend, where? You walking scandal, walking fraud. If you want money on TikTok, because that's what you depend on, Jacqueline Ombewa, and that is what you need, because you are a poor woman who depends on public benefits. You need money from TikTokers. That is why you can lie and dine with people who have disrespected you. How jiheshimu? You can sit with anything. You sit and smell anything. You sit with any, yani, you don't even know where dignity went. Like, you don't respect yourself. You know? You don't even know where to make yourself available just because you want money. So my friend, ukitaka kukula pesa TikTok, kula pole pole. Lakini, usi jaribu to drag me 
in your bullshit. I am way above you. Na nimekuambia, if indeed you are honest about helping those children, let me tell you something. You, you know and you are very, very aware that there is a lot of funding for children who are with disabilities and on mental health. There is a lot of funding on mental health from donors all over the world. You've said you are an academician. Kachini, andika proposal. Umesikia? Na utafute pesa kwa njia mzuri. Wacha kujifanya hapa TikTok. Ati wewe ndio uko na integrity. Ati unakolekt pesa kwa njia mzuri utasaidia watu. If you have an organization that is duly registered and is updated today and is proper, my friend, go and write a proposal. I dare you. Write a proposal and then get money for funding. Okay? Nataka uandike yo proposal, upate yo pesa tuone. The reason why you do not want to write proposal is because you know that the donors are going to be holding you accountable and you're going to be producing financial statements for each year. And that is what you don't want. That is what you don't want. If your organization fits all the standards of, of making money and getting money. My friend, kama we si mwizi, kama we si con, kama we si fraud, andika proposal, andika. Andika proposal tuone pali proposal yako inafika ulete pesa isaidia hawa toto. You don't come on TikTok and you know there is no sustainability. The reason why you're on TikTok is because you need to eat. That's the only way you're going to be okay. The money you're getting from the government is not enough. So there is no other way you can get money but to come on TikTok. Because there's nobody who's going to be telling you to bring details about the money and how you've used it on TikTok. Okay? All organizations, non-governmental organizations, they publish their financial statements every, every year. Umesema ume run from 2015. Can you bring your financial statement? Wapi website ya organization yako? Sijuzi ulipanda hapa ukisema eti, hey, let me explain to you how organizations are being, uh, certificates are being renewed. My friend, you cannot sit in my table where I sit. Nimekuambia. Umesikia, wewe ni panya, you are a rat. Where I talk, you cannot speak. Where lions like me speak, you cannot speak. You are a rat. And you cannot be running an organization as a one-man show. Umesikia? Na nimekuonya, if you don't stop your stupidity with that organization, I will make sure it is deregistered. Endelea na yu ujinga yako. Mimi staki upuzi yako. Endelea kunifuata and you will see what I will do to you. Kumba kuguogni. You useless woman, mwenye hana dignity. You don't respect yourself. Mtu wana kutusi mbaka kuma na mama yako na kila kitu unaenda kukaa chini na pitches. Unakaa chini na pitches kwa platform. Alafu unakuja hapa kuji present. Ati, hey guys, let me just tell you. Who, you? Nili kuambia you are a rat to me, my friend. A rat, a begging, ever begging rat. You beg from the government, you beg from TikTokers, you beg from friends and everybody else. Okay? You cannot sit where I sit, my friend. Where is he? You can't. And I've told you every day, you can't and you will never. Jacqueline Ombewa, you okinyal pet kumabete. You window. Okinyal. Onguru, okinyal pet kumabete. Dako manonyu walka gatani. Tundi ni jero ganyi. You cannot sit where I sit. I've told you. And I've dared you. If you really think that you are worthy enough Please, go write, go write that proposal and get money. Go write that proposal and get that money through your organization to own it. Kama unaweza, because you are in a country where there are donors. Hala, uko, uko UK, alafu unakuja hapa ke, uko, kwa Kenya and TikTok kuomba pesa. Are you okay? Eh? Ime kufanyo unakakama mwenda wazimu. You look like a mad person. You are sitting on platforms with people who are so cheap. People who have disrespected you. Surely. Yani for the sake of cartelism. Because that's, what, that's the only way you can eat. That's how you feed. You depend on talking and borrowing and begging from TikTok. Atipia unakachini. Unaniita jina. Na ujue, by the way, I come from Diwa. If you want to start a war with me in my home, where I come from, and I have confirmed and I know you don't own the schools in that home, my friend, 
utachanga ni karanya kosoko mera gi mani gitero mar chuma ibinjo anyi fika ikenda koni atini tena unapanda live ukisema huyu mama huyu mama yani huyu mwanamke anaweza kuniongelelea this woman who did not even have a place to stay or eat or sleep i house a woman who she was homeless ati anaenda kuniongelelea kwa live Tako nyinya kaginya tini ngobiro mokwalo nyaka ringe sufria makonyo makonyo lwete ko wa Ni mbinya uwe kuoma lili ati unaenda kupa, un, kupanda kwa live kuniongelelea Akoni ukitaka kupambana na mimi ninataka kuona hiyo nguvu yako abro nge connection mari o mabe Unasikia mimi ukianza na mimi Jacqueline nimekuambia I, 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 I should not even call you lady Nimesha kuambia wewe we, we, we ndio chokora ine chun chokora Iwinjo in chun chokora makwe chotu wuto ka chiet everywhere yawa ndako mane masembo nyitinde kadoke utiji if it's not this woman si huyu ndo mwanamke mwenye anapeleka watoto kama njugu kwa manyumba za watu alafu anapotea eh at you talk about organization at oh it's about my work it's about the children really which children you think that you love children now you you, you are a lover of children what about the other children you are abusing the other day were they were those not children bilolko na tusi watoto wakush were they not children at now you are the mother who loves children that is all round and has integrity what integrity tinya mori ki jo angla mi mok ki jo angla ma bayod ma bati nga manu biro mi chadongan ati you you can speak where i speak anjo angla ngota bwana onge jo angla ma ngota tera ni onge jo angla ma ngoto ibinjo you cannot sit where i sit and i've told you ibinjo kenda bro nyi sikendo ki cha ki luongo nyinga i live gigo Abro nyisi gik moko nego bena nyisi. Iwinjo. Ati, huyo mama meogopa na ogopa nini? Maybe ni ile harufu yenye ulikuja nayo kwangu ndio naogopa. That's the only thing I can be afraid of from you. Ile harufu hiyo tu. And I remember asking you what is the problem? What's wrong? Why why do you have this kind of smell? Nikakuongelesha kama mwanamke mwenzangu. Eh? And that's when you told me your story. Margaret if you want me to say that story, I will. Allah? Because you can't have a tusi. Ata mimi pia na nani niko na matusi, my friend. Allah? Kama unataka matusi, yetu unajaribu kunitusi. Mimi pia niko na matusi. So endelea na nimekuambia, my friend. Nimekuambia na nimekuonya. Mle Jacqueline Ombewa, you are on TikTok to steal. That is why you are here. You try to steal on Facebook, you couldn't do it. Okay? You tried on Facebook, you couldn't do it. You sold a snake oil story about about taking people to the UK. It did not work. And then the next thing you tried is to tell people wafanya CG care jobs, you are training them, it did not work. All of these things you did while taking money from these girls. And you think now we we don't know. And you are talking about fraud. Who is the most fraudulent person than you? The same person who claims Budoi was not good, you protected Budoi, went and worked with him and took a cut from him. Nani ajui? Nani ajui ulikula pesa na Budoi? Who, who does not know? Why are you protecting him? If you are the queen of integrity, then go and take Budoi, take Budoi to the police, report him. Report Budoi, I dare you. Go and report Budoi. Because you were the one who said that Budoi was your project. The same post that you said he was your project is the same post that you should need to go and report Budoi. If you are talking about accountability, you need to report Budoi. If indeed you did not eat any money from Budoi, go and report Budoi. You cannot claim ati uliwacha Budoi kwa sababu ati, ati Budoi ni mgonjwa. Kwani, nani amewahi kusikia koti ya Kenya inaacha mtu atijuni mgonjwa? Wagonjwa wanaendanga jela bwana. Kuna mtu mwenye amewahi atiliwa na koti ya Kenya ati kwa sababu ni mgonjwa. Ha? Huh? Ati oh, well, we decided to leave the money because Budoi is sick, my friend. You are a liar. You ate money with Budoi. That is what you did. Period. There is nothing about Budoi being sick. 
if you really, really needed to protect yourself and your image, you should have reported Budoi. That was the right thing to do. So, sikuja hapa kujifanya ati, oh, Budoi was sick, that's why we didn't do anything. The same, same person that went to Safaricom to stop the money is the same, same person who comes around again to claim that the money should be left to the person because he's sick. While you came up and claimed that ati ati nikon. Alapu umesahau ile story ulikuja nae upeki ya daktari kukukon 50,000. Umejua, tunajua yo story? Unakumbuka vile ulikuja hapa kudanganya ati umekonio 50,000 na daktari? My friend, endelea kuongea juu yangu. If you want me to deconstruct you, I will do it piece by piece, piece by piece. Because at these stories of Facebook, you never were on this, in those groups. You are not part of those groups. You didn't know those women. It was just one story of a woman that I helped and protected. And I saved her children all the way from Italy. Eh? Wewe, chunga, usifanya niendele, unajua, nimekuambia yo kichwa yako imechizika mimi, nitakurudisha factory settings. Okay, because I know you are a delusional woman who does not have a brain inside of her. You sit with chokoras here, you think even me and mimi niko kama wewe. You have no dignity. You lost your dignity, you lost yourself. Sitting with anybody just because of money. Nani ajui that you are behind cartels here? You are part of the cartel ring on TikTok when you want to collect pesa hapa. Nani ajui? That is what you do. That is who you are. And you need money from TikTok more than anybody else because you are on public benefit. So you need the, the money on TikTok. You need the money on TikTok more than anybody else. So the reason why we will tell you to give us to give us the financial statements when you're talking about accountability is because you have an organization that has, has been in existence, quote unquote, from 2015. So, come in existence from 2015. I have a website, Utuoneshe na financial statements from 2015. If indeed you talk about, you are talking about integrity and you are attacking personalities, show us your financial statements, even for the past three years, Utuoneshe. If they are telling with what you're doing today on TikTok, tell us and show us. My friend, where? Chunga na ucheze na wajinga, wajinga wenye unawa recruit kukuku, kwa danganye tu konaela, sijui nini, maekas na nini na nini. Play with the fools, not me. Nilisha kuambia. Play with fools, not me. Mimi, you are beneath me. Okay? You are beneath me. Nilisha kuambia we ni kama rat. And me, I'm like a lion. That rat, when you me, me, lion, ni me. Kama rat hivi, rat yate kuni sumbua. Umesikia? So, kwa sababu umongelele andiwa, andiwa is my home. Mana nyako soko, nyagorua jode serikal. Ntaka kufanya kazi yako. Iwi njo? Ki medo timo, ki kumiti mofu ogo, kata andiwa na emu kibinyona. Anisi? Mwanane ete koni? Ia uyoma all the way from uyoma ni biro, ni biro ndewa, ni biro ite motilu hongo nyinga ananya ndewa. Do you know the work I do ndewa? Binge teach mati yo ndewa. Omera dingamri kucho guogne. Hani kikitema, hase nisi. Nani meendi live jundu naenda kuangalia ile live ingine, tutazidi na tutazidi kuangalelea mjinga mpumbavu uyo mwenyana leto ujinga hapa kwa TikTok atikuita jina yangu. If you want to collect money from people on TikTok, do it peacefully because that's what you need. You need that money. You are on public benefits. You need that money. Okay? Jacqueline Ombewa Nguru, you need money from TikTok. That's why you have to do it. I'm not like you. You depend on TikTok. If TikTok was closed down today, you'd probably even go into some very major breakdown. Because you need TikTok more than I do. Okay? A person on public benefits is probably in need of TikTok more than I do. So... My friend, Chunga, si wacha tuende kwa kabinet yu ingine, uturudi sasa. Mm? Because sasa kuna kazi. Thank you, if, if Cheni. Kuna kazi. Leo unajua tuko busy. Sisi we, we, sisi we don't, we don't choose who we talk about. We are able to talk about everybody and anyone. So tunarudi hapa hivi. Wacha tuende tukaangalia ile live kule. Then we will be back. 
and I'll still continue addressing Jacqueline Ombewa, the walking scandal that pretends to be full of integrity. Okay? So, tutaendelea kumwongelelea kila siku. Mpaka ile siku atakoma na ataelewa ya kwamba she needs to stick to her lane. Mesikia? Na by the way, yu tare saba na kusubiri, make sure uko tayari na umejianda vizuri. Sumesema utakuja. Mesikia? Kuja. Tutatambuana peupe. Guys, I'll see you. We'll be back shortly. Sawa, sawa. Narudi. Mm. Ma, mm. Uyo. Oberio. Umano chaloja chien. Eh? If you body shame me, nita kutusi mimi pia. Mm. That's what I'm going to do. Hmm? You want to go?